Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to this uh, session of REST API in Morty. Uh, this is Swapnil Mane, and I welcome you all to uh, this session. So uh, the REST support in the Morty framework is, uh, I must say, one of the really uh, uh, cool feature which comes out of the box. It means uh, the REST support is uh, uh, the Morty framework completely support uh, all the uh, concept of REST and uh, to implement your REST API in the Mocky framework is really easy. It's so very clearly straightforward steps which are defined there, and uh, uh, all, all you can do everything what you uh, what you imagine in the REST world. It can be easily done in the Mocky framework. So uh, let's get started. Uh, we, uh, we what we will do is uh, we will uh, have just quick look. Uh, in some uh, existing REST API, and then uh, I will I will walk you through the code, how how it is implemented, and then if you have any question, please feel to uh, put them on a chat, and uh, and then we can discuss it uh, at the same time or maybe even after the session. So uh, at the uh, at, uh, at the end when I just complete complete about to complete it, right? So let's get started. So when if you go to the uh, this this uh, market documentation uh, in the wiki space you you have an uh, if you go to market documentation here and then market framework you will find uh, there's an uh, tools and configuration section where you can find the uh, 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 rest document rest api document so uh, it is. This is. Uh, there are majorly two ways in which you can implement your Mocky uh, REST API in Mocky, and uh, the first one which we will discuss is uh, majorly used. Uh, uh, majorly used, and there is another way which is uh, uh, not so widely used. But yeah, there's that is also the one way. So what we will do is we will spare our own time on focusing the first one which is uh, widely accepted and implemented and then we have a quickly uh, look at the second one in the end just just so you know they okay there is one another way to do this so uh, it's very simple uh, let, let, let me start with the uh, example component so this is my example component and uh, it's available on the uh, Mocky github repository uh, you can clone it from there and uh, uh, and it, it has a complete example of means uh, uh, all, what, what are the typical use cases of a REST API is implemented in this component. So it will be a good starting point if you want to explore uh, the REST API. And in general, if you want to explore any aspect of Mocky, uh, the example component is, uh, is, is one of the uh, good reference point. So just go to the uh, GitHub, uh, uh, GitHub, uh, dot, uh, GitHub account, uh, GitHub. Uh, and then uh, see the Mocky, and here you can find the, you search for the tutorial component. Mm -hmm. Let me complete, let me share the exact URL with you. Oh, I'm sorry, it's example, not the tutorial. Uh, wait, so if you see your example, here it is. So this is our example component. And uh, all the sort of examples are listed here. You can see the REST API also uh, shown here how to implement it. So let's just jump into the code directly. So if you want to implement REST, uh, just a simple first step you can do is uh, uh, go to a service section and define your start.res.xml file. Uh, this is the file which uh, uh, any file which is which is of the pattern start.res.xml under the service directory is treated as the uh, treated as the uh, root resource for accessing the REST APIs. So if if I simply I define these files and in this particular file we have all the uh, routes which are needed or implemented for our REST patterns. So uh, you can see here uh, we have this uh, resources example and then we have a method type get and the post and then we have an id i will, I will uh, discuss each uh, uh, in just uh, just a moment uh, just giving you uh, this file contains all the routes here uh, before that let's uh, let's see uh, the ui available for getting this uh, uh, to see this uh, rest api available uh, so 
if you go to so i'm just logging in and then there's a there's an option tools and there you can see the rest uh, api swagger ui so what it uh, uh, the swagger is uh, uh, comes in bundle uh, in the mock key out of the box so all the apis which you have implemented you can view uh, it through swagger ui so you can see there are, there are multiple components which are having rest api uh, implemented and one of the our component which is example component is also having this rest api implementation so i'm just clicking on it and uh, it will open you all the uh, apis which are listed here so let's 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 see what what are the uh, rest apis available here and then we'll, we'll jump into the code so there's one api which is uh, of uh, method gate and example api so let's let's click on it so here you can see uh, what are the schema of this uh, particular uh, api and uh, these are the in parameters which are taken by this particular api and uh, let's try it out on the browser great so you can see i just uh, try it out and uh, it will it hit the uh, my rest api which is implemented and written the uh, all the list of examples uh, examples uh, in, in, uh, to me so you can see uh, this is the implementation this is our one of the uh, first called resources it's resource right then we have uh, uh, multiple options we can have the get or put method whatever the method which we would like to implement then we can define there are two ways either we can have the entity or we can call a service so in the first example uh, we are using an entity uh, name examples and we are having the operation called list so there are other uh, operations also available here so you can just uh, if you go to the S, uh, xsd you can see you can list or count or it's uh, if you want any one, one record you can use one so there are multiple options available uh, in this particular operation uh, attribute for the entity so uh, so what we have done is let's let's take the example of this particular api so you can see uh, this is basically our rest url which is uh, which is hit and then uh, we have used the get method so our our mocky know if you are uh, hitting this url example and uh, so you can see, see right uh, this is the resource name uh, the, my first tag which is resource and we define here name right so if i say uh, i change this name is very important because uh, it will it will be the root uh, point mount a uh, root point for your that particular uh, rest api resource for example i, I change it to example dash demo uh, then in this particular case this will become uh, the url which we are we are accessing you can see here it's a localhost 8080 rest and s1 so this particular url which you are seeing till s1 is is out of the box so basically uh, in this particular uh, screens uh, uh, s uh, rest forward slash s1 this is nothing but an screen which have implemented the concept of rest so it knows okay whatever comes after the after the s1 is is a, is an rest resource so it will look for this particular resource uh, for example if i change uh, example to example dash demo let me uh, let me open it on the postman so it will be much more easier for you to understand so if if i uh, click here so it's not found any example because i i just make a change here uh, okay so you can see i uh, i I take the example and then the example is the examples is the next uh, endpoint so if i change this to example demo then i have to change my root root mount point of the uh, this particular example component api to example demo so it's it's showing me john doe is not authorized user so it's fine then uh, it is just showing me uh, an error but yeah the api is uh, we are able to access means at least the the you are able to access if I change it to demo. So, uh, so this is a critical, right? So first step, whenever you define your uh, example res.xml file or start.res.example file, you can name it the way you want, but it should be res.xml. 
the first thing is what you want to give the name of your resource if you if you want to for example uh, building an e-commerce site and if you give uh, this as a e-commerce then your endpoint will become uh, the rest s1 and then the e-commerce so it will become something like this so this is first thing always define the name of the resources which you want and that will be the uh, root for your particular rest api resources now there are the multiple resources which we, uh, which you can define the way you want you can see uh, we have the example now when i click forward slash examples we have your example and then i clicking forward slash examples so you can see uh, if i click on uh, if i uh, hit the example resource then you can see i can see the list of the examples so how this happened so you can see we have defined a next resource and the method type for this resource is get. Uh, so there's a general convention across the uh, uh, across the rest uh, rest pattern. So every it's globally accepted, and every everyone follow the same pattern. If the method type is get, is generally if you if you want to do any find operations, post is generally to create anything, and store is if you if you are want to create or update something. The patch method is generally used to. Uh, Update something and delete is obviously deleting anything something on the on the on the server side. So this is general pattern which is a general guidelines uh, which is accepted for the rest world. So we have here method called get. So you can see here my method is get, and there are other uh, other methods also available. For example, uh, post right. So if if you see. Uh, this method is get and i enter i i just put a, a tag here uh entity name uh, i i just fetch all the records from the example you can see the beauty of mocky framework here if i want to get the records of example entity just a simple line just write the entity tag give the name of entity and put the operation the the operation you want uh, which is listed here means one list count create or update the way you want so you can see uh all these are listed here. And if you go to the Swagger uh, UI, uh, you can see there are other uh, parameters also available. So uh, these all are all the defined. These are the basically the uh, fields of this example entity, which just listed here as, as an uh, uh, means. Uh, this is basically the, uh, the response. What you what you will get is basically nothing but the example entity and, and and its field so it is just shown here so uh, now let's get to the next example for example which uh, which is very common uh, we can see here's a list of example right and uh, this is example one this is example this is a second example test example two if i want to see uh, the example two detail of example two which is generally a commonly uh, used requirement you can uh, if you're related to the real world, you uh, get the list of all the orders. Then if you want to get the detail of a particular order, what you generally do in the rest world is uh, you try something like this, right? For example, uh, if I want to get the list of orders, so it is something like this, right? It's orders. It will give the list of orders. Now I want the particular uh, uh, detail of a single order. Then what we will do is we will do something like this, 1001. So this will give you the uh detail of that particular uh order means it's, it's a pattern followed in rest api so let's see uh, we are here and we uh take the uh uh what we do is uh, we hit the examples uh, rest endpoint and we fetch all the rest of example right it's here now what we want is i want test example to detail so what we'll do is uh you can see here uh here you can see a, a next uh, next uh, rest example which is forward slash example and the dynamic id of example id means if if i give uh, the example id in my case it's a uh, 1 4 times 0 1 and when i try it out you can see we will get the detail of a particular example and so that particular uh, example uh, whose id is 14901 so how this is implemented let's see it here right so in resources there are multiple tags you can write you can write direct method there are three things which are available you can write method uh, like we have implemented here 
means uh, get put post or whatever the way you want uh, then we have the second thing is we have a resource we will discuss it later third is the id so this id pattern is basically mapped with the uh, with the uh, with the pattern in the rest where where you will give the uh, this particular pattern i am talking about you say this particular give only till the examples is the list of all the examples right now i want the example number 10001 so uh, this is the pattern right it's widely accepted in the rest world means if you want uh, the example whose id is 10001 you just uh, give a forward slash and give the id of this it's applied to same uh, other uh, artifact as well for example i say orders forward slash 1001 it should give the order detail of that particular order id so how this implemented so there is a field called id right so now our system know if the url is example forward slash 1001 or any example id means i'm just uh, if it is like this example id we have to use this resources we have to call this resources so it will call like this and then uh, it goes here now again if if it is this in, in this resources this resources now it, it has to take decisions there are multiple resources available inside this example id also then how it will get uh, get to know which uh, service or entity or which resource i have to access so, so again you can see there is another method which is of get type defined here so what we will do what we have done is we have called the get method and uh, this is again uh, doing the entity hit in the example component and uh, it's giving the operation as one and uh, you can see this example id uh, i name uh, we give this as a name as example id so whatever you have passed from this uh, uh, from this uh, ui uh, like for example like this if, if you had this particular url this particular uh, example id is uh, is considered uh, is will be will be stored or or be uh, catch in this particular parameter and uh, since example id is the primary key of this example entity so it will do the uh, find one operation and give you the the record of a particular entity so this is the uh, one way to define the uh, the dynamic id pattern so we first we cover the method type then we have the uh, id type and the third one which which i shown you is this uh, resource type miss you can do uh, uh, the, the level of hierarchy tree hierarchy structure the the way you want for example in examples i want uh, 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 we want the uh, list get the list of all the uh, items of this particular example so what we have done is in this particular id we created one more resource which is of example uh, which is of items type so what it will do uh, so we just go here and uh, we put a forward slash right so this is our example resource this is our id resource and that particular in that particular id resource we have one more resource which is item right so this is my uh, example resource then we have an id resource which is example id and mapped with this then we have this items resource which is uh, which is here and whenever we click here so you can see we get the items of this particular example so again to map to the real world example if you want the uh, items of uh, a particular order so it will be something like this orders slash order id slash items and then you can implement your code or logic of fetching the uh, items of that particular order so you can see uh, again we have this there are multiple options available here right we have a get and post also so with get i'm using get so it, it will create it will give you the example items list and if, if i use post it will call the service so i'm not discussed post intentionally uh, because i'm just uh, giving you the example of using entity tag now let's uh, go to the next topic, uh, next next uh, uh, part, which is the post, right? So, is there any question uh, related to get and the uh, resources which we have uh, used? Miss, uh, 
in the resources you can have uh, another resource uh, to make the tree like hierarchy structure for your rest or you can use the id if you want to uh, implement a dynamic id pattern and the method is defined what is the type of method which we have to call so is there any question so far so great so i i, I consider the silence as uh, we are good to go <laughs> right so great so uh, let me let me move to uh, the next uh, point which is uh, using the uh, your written service in the rest api so right now what we have seen is we are using uh, the method and then we are calling uh, direct the entity operations so it is fetching the data directly from the entities now if we want uh, to call our own service which will do certain kind of operation we can do that as well so if you go uh, to the method uh, uh, attribute uh, uh, in the method so there are various options available so you can see we have two options one we can use the entity another we can use the service so this is an example we have the example uh, uh, component uh, example endpoint here and then i'm using the post operation so, so you can see uh, if we go to the swagger ui and see it here so you can see this is a post uh, post uh, uh, implementation of example so basically if i give you a uh, example demo rest and description is the same example demo rest and i'm trying it out right so, so you can see it's a session required mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. session token required okay this brings to a new topic. Uh, I will I will come come to you that that right. Let, let let me come to that now. Okay. So uh, so you can see it's basically uh, in post we have uh, this uh, service and this service is defined in example services dot uh, example services dot xml and you can see here we have create slash example and it's nothing but a simple entity auto type service which takes the in parameter and uh, create the example gives you out. So as you can see, we just uh, got an error that uh, we need and uh, uh, session token for this particular to uh, get a, to to use this URL or to access it. So this brings a new topic. You can have the you can apply the permission to your uh, to your endpoints. Uh, for example, you can see there's a tag called re resource authentication. Uh, Hello, am I, am I audible? Right, means and the screen is visible. Visible, and and just just. Yes, sure. Yeah, you are sound and clear. Right, right. Great. Thank you so much, Pranay. So okay. So now let's uh, uh, let's see this this particular tag means uh, we can have the authentication uh, on a particular endpoint. For example, uh, for that we have a required authentication tag. So. Uh, if required authentication is it's it's true means it's by default the uh, by default the required authentication is true its default value is true uh, so if anybody wants to access this particular example endpoint they should be uh, they should be logged in if i if i set this as a false uh, there is no authorization required to access this uh, this particular endpoint and then we have uh, anonymous all, uh, which again makes this example endpoints to uh, <coughs> anonymously, it will be accessible. And if you have this anonymous view, which is the fourth way to require authentication. So with this, uh, all the resources under this endpoint uh, will be uh, view only. So if, if you have written some logic to create, it will not be uh, uh, entertained. But if you have some logic of, uh, uh, for viewing, it will be it will be shown here, right? So uh, this is basically something about the required authentication available in the in the resource. So it's it's available everywhere. Means uh, you can uh, uh, give it in your child resources uh, hierarchy example. For example, required authentication is uh, for example I, I I made it false here, but for particular items I want there should be authentication required. So I can set this as a true. So this endpoint will be used uh, uh, without authentication, and this endpoint will be used the 
used with with authentication so so let's uh, let's uh, uh, let so this was something about uh, the uh, endpoints and uh, so there's a uh, there's an interesting thing which we i would like to show you here uh, is uh, uh, let me do one thing i mean i've done cert certain things to just for demo purpose uh, wait. so okay so i just want to uh, 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 let you know about how the authorization works in the rest api so so you can you can have more details on it means uh, 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 the interesting point uh, uh, in the mock is you can provide an artifact level security to your rest apis so for example if i want all the my uh, my this particular rest apis should be uh, accessible to the users which are in a particular group or we can set that particular uh, uh, as well so you can see uh, in the data and we have this security data so we have this uh, artifact group for example rest api so we have created an artifact group which is example api means uh, uh, example rest api and then we have a artifact group member uh, example id and uh, you can see here the artifact name is forward slash example and the type of artifact is rest path so you can see there are a various type of artifact type available uh, screen you can uh, have the permission to various kind of artifacts available in the mock it could be screen it could be rest and pointer uh, so I'm not going to give you the details about more details because it will be a separate topic. So just for example, I want to give the uh, uh, the restrictions, or I want to put certain users should should uh, able to access the REST API. So we have created an artifact group, and uh, this artifact group member record contains this uh, this particular artifact for slash example of REST path. We have created this group member. And then we have given the admin as a full permission to get this particular, to use this particular, uh, use this particular example APIs, right? So this example API artifact will be used by, can be accessed by all the users which are in, the, in this admin group. So what we are doing here is, uh, I'm clicking here and it is showing me, user is not authorized to view the rest and forward slash rest for this. So what I've done is uh, I'm accessing it anonymously, right? And uh, so it is giving me the error. This particular is a REST path and the user is not allowed to access the REST path because we have this particular data in our system. So, so what, what to do, right? So let me do one thing. I, I said required authentication false. So when I said this is a false, you might be thinking whenever when i click here it, it will be accessible the answer is surprisingly no because uh, let, let's try it out so again i i i click it here and i said required authentication false and then uh, it is showing me the user is not authorized to view the entity bokeh example so you can see the error is changed now means uh, let me just show you again previously the error was the user is not able to uh, is not allowed to access the uh, this rest path so we set required authentication as a false and then when you click on it you can see it is showing me the user is not authorized the entity mock example so this is because we have one more uh, security data available here which is like this uh, we have also uh, also what we have done is all our entities uh, uh, which is defined we also make the uh, make um, we are provided security for that as well so this uh, so this particular uh, entity is not visible because uh, the user is not having the permission to access it or to view this entity so uh, what we can do means uh, right so this brings to be a new topic uh, how you can pass the authorization token or what is a, a way we can pass the authorization to this particular api so uh, in header section, there's an API key uh, field. If you pass the, your token, which is authorization token, uh, in this uh, header as an API key, uh, I will later tell you how I generated this particular token. 
so but let me first give you how the authorization uh, can be can be uh, can be allowed to access uh, can can be allowed you to access this particular api so if you pass your auth, uh, login token as an api key under the header it will be accessible so so you can see uh, now i can uh, access the uh, api key so how this uh, uh, I, I get this token so let let, let get, get to this right so uh, what I have done is I have implemented one more login resources, and I set the required authentications and it's anonymous to all, but miss um, anyone can access it. Uh, then we have the uh, this called method get, uh, which is which is of get type, and then I have implemented a, a service uh, which is example service, uh, and I have implemented it like like here. So uh, if you go to your your uh, uh, REST example available in the Mocky framework, you might not have seen this particular resource because I've just implemented it for our uh, session purpose. So you will not able to see this particular code there. So, so don't worry, it's just a simple code which I have implemented. Uh, we have created a resource called login. Uh, we kept it anonymous to all. Then the method type is get, and we are calling our own service, which is example service login slash user. So you can see, we have this service login and then uh, uh, login user. This is our service. So what take, uh, what is the in parameter? It's user name and password. And what's the out parameter? It's API key and mocky session uh, token. So basically, this is the API key which is uh, returning uh, out. We have write a simple script here. Uh, we call the uh, login user method uh, and then pass user and password, which returns us uh, the example key and mocky session. It is set. Uh, uh, we will get it from here. Uh, so let's try, try, try out this API uh, which, which we have implemented. So great. So you can see uh, I'm accessing my. Uh, this is this is uh, the path, right? This particular path is will be always common for all your REST uh, API which you are hitting. This is the name of your first resources which you have defined in in your REST uh, uh, example REST.xml or star REST.xml file. This is like this. Then the next resource which we have defined is this particular login. So we are calling it login. And it is uh, uh, basically this particular service taken as a two in parameter, username and password. So we are passing it from here, username and password. And then uh, whenever I just click it, it will uh, uh, execute over this particular service. And in return, you can see because our out parameter of our service is API key and Mocky session token, it will mapped in the REST uh, API and it will return you like a JSON. So it's it's the beauty of framework. It will uh, it will convert all the response of your service in the JSON format and and give you uh, uh, to the consumable format of JSON. So now I'm copying this particular API uh, API key and uh, trying it out or just i'm just passing api enders key in the header and just executing it and you can see I'm, I'm able to access it and if i say i'm just not uh, passing the api again you can see um the user is not able to view this particular entity so right so this uh, uh, uh this with this we completed the uh, first uh, uh, section uh, how we can implement the Mocky uh, REST API. So this is a one way. Uh, so is there any question on this this particular first way? If 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 not, then we will move to the second uh, second way, which is not not widely widely used. It's alternative way. Uh, so is there any question on the first way? Wait, so wait, can we change the content type? Uh, good question. Uh, Great, <laughs> good question, Amit. So, means you're, uh, yeah, means you are basically saying the uh, if if I want uh, instead of JSON, I want the uh, XML. Is it is it what you want to say, right? No. Great, great. So uh, I didn't try it out. Means uh, uh, so a short answer. I don't even uh, yet explored it. So it could be a good question. And if anybody in the audience having any answer for it, uh, I will be more happy if, if anybody can uh, can uh, answer the question from Namit. So 
So no, I didn't explore uh, about changing the content type. So maybe if anybody from the audience can answer, it will be good. Or we can uh, we can explore it and uh, maybe we can uh, pose the question on the mocky group. So oh, great, thank you. So or good. So let's let's. Uh, uh, Let's let's move on to. <laughs> Thank you, Anai. <laughs> it was short answer to your question, right? <laughs> Great. So let's uh, uh, let's go to the uh, second uh, way through which we can implement the uh, REST API. Is yeah, you before, can find, uh, 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 Kapil, uh, you have you have, you have got one more question from Gurveen. If you say again. No question. Okay. Right. Okay. I got it. So Gurveen is. Uh, Asking, uh, a mocky session is needed for post for operation and uh, else only API should work. Uh, and we got the question and the answer. <laughs> so this, this is the uh, best way to work in the community. We got the question and the right uh, the answer as well. So Gurin, uh, uh, thanks Deepak for the answer. So Gurin, this uh, this this uh, uh, this answer for Deepak should 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 uh, work for you, right? So. It's fine, or, or should should we elaborate on it? Oh, okay, super. Wait, I, I like I, I really like this kind of audience. Means we have great people who collaborate with each other in the question and answer, and <laughs> we got the answers. So the ideal environment for community. <laughs> Yeah, it's really I don't know our maintenance. And and generally every presenter want this kind of audience. So love you all. Thank you so much. <laughs> so let's uh, let's move to uh, the uh, uh, next next uh, next topic. So I hope uh, so if if you have any question please feel pro feel to post here. We will see it uh, and then uh, let's move to the next topic, the another way uh, through which we can implement our our uh, a REST API. So this is also you can define in your. Uh, 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 uh. Another another way is to uh, to define as an screen transaction which take as a HTTP request get put or post. So uh, if if we go to the. Screens, screens and, uh, So, uh, just a moment. I just uh, set up the new mocky for this demo purpose. So, just a moment. Uh, Good. So uh, the transaction Oh, it's taking time. Okay. Right. So uh, here you can see uh, we have this uh, get example list uh, uh, defined here. So here you can have this particular example ID. And then uh, what we have done is uh, we have called this particular uh, action tag and script as a send JSON response. So this is also one way uh, which we, we can uh, define the uh, our, our, our REST API. So, right. so this is the file which uh, which I was looking for. It's example app.xml. So what we can do is uh, we have this our, our particular screen. 
So in this particular screen, you can see I have a transition example entity. Then we have this particular method, which is uh, which could be get post or anything. Then we have this particular path parameter, and then uh, 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 what what whatever we want to prepare, we can uh, do it on the action tag. For example, we have fetched the record from uh, example entity, and then we have simply called send JSON response. So this is particular the uh, prepare uh, which converts your response into the JSON, and it will it will it will work as a like a REST API. So you can see uh, if I if you want to call a, uh, call it via curl, so this is the way we are calling it uh, passing the basically what are the authorization here, uh, and then this particular uh, is apps slash example because uh, because this example uh, screen is mounted in the uh, in the example component and and the our example component in, in is mounted in the apps directory uh, apps uh, uh, component uh, so you can if you if you are confused with this we will recommend you to go to the very previous session you will get uh, to know more how uh, to know more more how these screens are mounted so you can see this is a uh, uh, this is the example, and then we have this example entity. So this example entity transition is called, and then this particular example ID is nothing but uh, this particular example ID is passed, and uh, we can uh, it will be cached here, and this particular operation will be used. So uh, so this is the I just don't want to spend more time on it because uh, uh, the the former one, the first one we discuss is much more widely. A used pattern of the rest, and I particularly find it more convenient in the uh, in the management terms as well because we have very clearly defined all the resources, which can be easily uh, understand, and the the pattern uh, is all is is more readable here. So this is the one way to uh, write your REST API, and this is the second way you can define your uh, APIs in 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 your uh, screens as well in terms of transactions. So. These are the two major ways to implement the uh, REST API, uh, and I, I personally like the former one. And but you can see various example in the framework which which both the patterns are are used. And this particular is uh, more formally used. And uh, I will also uh, recommend you to go uh, and see the uh, uh, PopRest store component as well because it is also having the uh, implementation of uh, REST APIs which we which we need for generally for the e-commerce. So in services, uh, if, if you see popres.xml, you can see here tons of uh, 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 REST APIs of which you need for the e-commerce purpose. So for learning purpose, you can visit the example component as well and the and the popres component as well. So uh, so this brings me to conclusion of these two topics of the REST API, and and we are open to questions. Uh, should we consider this silence as uh, plus one to conclude the session? <laughs> yeah, I guess uh, if we get any questions uh, while yeah. we explore it further, then definitely mock emailing list can be used. Oh, you got one from Gurveen. Uh, uh, so would it be possible to override the default response code instead of 200 uh, should be uh, created for uh, that's a good question. Uh, again, uh, straight answer is no. We uh, I I still not ever explored it yet. So uh, basically, this all the uh, so what I've generally observed it. What are the uh, uh, generally what are the uh, standard codes which are defined for all the uh, all the uh, which is generally used convention in the uh, in the world uh, for for the uh, errors and the uh, the responses which are defined are generally written by the mocky, so I, I haven't tried it. It could be a good uh, option to try. So, Gurvin already asked about the mocky session token, so it's configurable. You can turn it off by mocky con. So you are yeah, yeah. right. Yes. Thank right. you, Samuel. Thank you, Samuel.